my dog. Hi, I'm Vicky, thank you for watching. So this video is going to be a follow up to one of my previous videos where I talked about the makeup products that I hate from brands I love. And this one is gonna be products that I love from brands that I hate. Now, I just wanna say that hate is a strong word. I don't hate any of these brands. And it's actually taken me a while to think of the products that I want to include in this video. And I found it really difficult because there are some brands that I don't really kind of buy products from so for example Maybelline, Max Factor, L'Oreal I don't really purchase from those brands that often but that doesn't mean I hate those brands I actually like a lot of the products that are from those brands and then there are a couple of brands where I don't really like their products but I don't like any of their products so for example I don't really like any of Stila's products so it's actually taken me a while to really kind of think well what brands don't I really buy from and are there any products from theirs that actually I do quite like? So this has taken me a while, but I have thought of a few. I've only got four products that I'm gonna be talking about in this video, so it's not gonna be a hugely long video, but those are the only ones that I was able to think about. So let's just get straight into it. Now the first brand is a brand that is really popular in the makeup industry, and it's also really popular here on YouTube, but I've just never been that impressed with their products and its benefit. Now, if you think of bronzers if you were to name a really popular bronzer I think a lot of people would say Hoola. I don't like Hoola I find it really orange and really muddy on me and I did try Hoola light and again it was orange and muddy albeit not as orange and muddy as the original Hoola but even still it just didn't work for me. I'm not that impressed by any of their mascaras either they're just okay and if you're going to spend about £20 on a mascara in my point of view it has to be amazing. You know, mascaras for me, they last about three to six months and I don't want to be spending 20 plus pounds on an okay mascara. So I'm not that impressed with their mascaras either. I don't really like their blushes or highlighters. Again, I just find them okay. Now alongside their bronzers, their brow products are really, really popular. And I actually bought a gift set at Christmas of their five full size brow products. And I think it worked out to be about seven pounds per product. So a great saving. And I've just always been really interested in trying Benefit Brow products. Along with ABH and Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think Benefit Brow products are one of the most popular in the industry. And I just always really wanted to try them. So I bought that set at Christmas and I have actually been really impressed with one of those products in particular. I've not tried all of them, which is why I've not been you know, impressed with the rest. But the one that I have tried is this one here and this is their Gimme Brow. I am in the shade three, and it is the perfect match for my eyebrows. Now, my eyebrows naturally are quite thick, they're quite full, I don't really need to do a lot to them. I can actually get away with not doing anything to them, but it does look better if I do. And all I do is just a bit of pencil and a bit of clear brow gel. But I really liked the idea of this Gimme Brow, so if you're somebody like me who doesn't need to do a lot to their brows, sometimes you just want a little bit of product to just kind of fill in the gaps and this product makes that so easy. It's so quick, it's so simple to use and I like that it just provides a little bit of something to your brows. Now I am usually a pencil and a clear brow gel type of, type of gal when it comes to doing my eyebrows, so I actually haven't tried any tinted eyebrow gels that are cheaper than this, so I can only speak for this product, but I am really impressed with this. And the brush is quite small, and I quite like that you can get precision with this mini eyebrow mascara wand. And it provides just, I'm not sure if you can see that, just a bit of colour. So I really just like the colour of this, the simplicity of it, how quick and easy it is to use. Really impressed with this and I'm intrigued to see if I'm as impressed with their other eyebrow products as I am with this one. Okay so the next brand I want to talk about is Collection and again like all the brands in this video I don't hate this brand, I'm just unimpressed I guess. Now Collection it's a bit of a cheap brand and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad but when I've tried some of their other products I've thought mm, this is a little bit cheap and cheerful. Now with Collection their most popular product is their concealer which was made popular by Zoella by Zoe Sugg and I have purchased that concealer numerous times probably about five times and I bought it because it was so popular and I thought well Zoe Sugg really loves it 
loads of other people really love it, it must be a good product. But actually, when I've taken a step back and really thought about what I think about that product, it's quite thick, it doesn't blend in that nicely, and it does oxidise, and I've actually decided to stop buying that because I am not impressed with it. Now the product from Collection that I do really like is one I've got here, the Collection Lash Serge Mascara. Now this is just the normal version, I do actually prefer the waterproof version because it gives a nice sort of lift to your eyelashes and it doesn't transfer along the bottom, which this does a little bit. However, this does make your eyelashes look really, really lovely and I think it's only a few quid as well. So for your money, you are getting a really, really good mascara and I did previously just mention about Benefit mascaras. This is maybe a third, a quarter of the price and it outperforms Benefit mascaras in my opinion. I think this is absolutely brilliant. So I don't hate Collection as a brand. I think they're okay, but their mascara for me is a real highlight. If you're after a really sort of cheap, affordable, but a really impressive mascara that's gonna make your lashes look really voluminous and a, with a lovely curl, I would recommend you try that mascara. Okay, I'm gonna scooch over because for the next two products I wanna put a picture up here because I don't own them. And the first one comes from Rimmel. I have tried a lot of Rimmel makeup. So my boyfriend of years ago, he used to work for Coty for a while and Coty make Rimmel products. So he used to come back home with like a 15 pound massive box of, of makeup that they were selling really, really cheap. So I've tried a lot of Rimmel products, their mascaras, foundations, concealers, powders, eyeshadows, lip glosses. I've been thoroughly underwhelmed with a lot of them. In particular, their foundations and concealers. I just don't think they perform that well. The one with the blue lid and the one with the orange lid, I can't remember what they're called, but I just really didn't like them. However, the one product of theirs that I do like are their lipsticks. Their lipsticks are really, really good. They're really pigmented, they feel really nice on the lips, they're not really drying, and they last for a decent amount of time as well. Now, I think their most popular lipstick is 107. That's the one that, again, Zoella Zoe Selg made popular. However, the one that I wanna talk about is 128 starry eyed and it is a beautiful warm purple berry tone looks beautiful in the autumnal months and i've got a picture here of me wearing it now my hair is copper i went like copper red a couple years ago and i used a quartz group curler so that's why i look a little bit different but this is the lipstick that i'm wearing in that picture and i just find it so complimentary especially if you've got green eyes as well i think those two colors really kind of complement each other and whenever I used to wear this lipstick people used to say oh, I love your lipstick what are you wearing really fond memories of this lipstick but because this isn't my type of usual shade I did actually end up decluttering it so overall with Rimmel not impressed with their products but their lipsticks are really really good and then the last brand I want to talk about is Avon and when I was younger, we used to get the Avon books come through the post and I just really enjoyed looking through all these pages and pages of makeup and thinking, oh yes, I want to get this and this and this and this and this. And I've tried a lot of their products. Again, like with Rimmel, I've tried a lot. I've tried a lot of their base products, their bronzing pearls, foundations, concealers, lipsticks, mascaras I've tried. Now I don't buy from Avon anymore, I haven't done for a number of years and I know there's a little bit of kind of, oh it's an MLM, but there is one product from Avon that I do think is really really good and it is their Glimmer Stick Eyeliners. I think they're about £6 but they're usually on special offer and they're just a brilliant eyeliner. They're a twisty up eyeliner, you get a whole load of different colours to choose from, they don't drag on the eye, they glide on really nice and smoothly and they stay put. They are really really impressive for the price. And I've tried loads of their colours before in the past and I've got through quite a lot of these eyeliners. So they are a product that when I've had in the past I have used up, I haven't needed to declutter them or get rid of them. They're just really affordable, reliable, well-performing eyeliner. So there we go, those are the four products that I love from brands that I hate. Now again, I don't hate these brands, I just don't particularly get on with them or even purchase from them anymore. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you've actually tried any of the products that I've mentioned below, please let me know. Or in fact, if you're actually a fan of any of these brands that I've mentioned, please also let me know of products that you would recommend that I try from them. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll talk to you again soon in my next video. See you soon guys, bye bye.